I'm in a new relationship. And I essentially re-came out to my mom. I said to her, I know that for years now you have prayed that that relationship would end and that I would find a man to be with. At this point, you've given up on children, <laughs> but if we could just keep the man in there, that would be great. Like, I know this, and I said that to her, but I'm not changing. I am gay. I am attracted to women. I love women. I love the relationships that I have with women. I'm gonna be with another woman. It's gonna be a long-term relationship. And I need to know now if you're gonna be different because I will not do what I've done for all of these years and hide who I am from you. And I'm still struggling with why I can be so open and so sure about not hiding myself from the world, period. But yet, I chose to continue hiding myself from this one person. But I guess it's because their judgment is so triggering. And it just brings you back to being that tiny little girl who was judged by her mom and who continued to judge you. And to this day, still judges you because you're not who she wanted you to be. I don't know that that the, the core of those feelings ever really go away. I think you just have to tell yourself every day that your happiness matters, being true to yourself matters, being who you are matters. Yes, the relationship with those people who don't accept you is important, but what's to me more important is the relationships that you're building outside of those people your sort of chosen family. I actually have a really close friend who grew up very religious and she always knew she was gay. And she likes to say, you know, her family loves her regardless, which is, I feel like when I was first coming out, making that comment was like, oh my God, your family's amazing. They love you regardless. Now it's no longer accepted that way. Now when I say that out loud, it's like, screw that. Why are we adding regardless? Like, no, my family loves me, period. My older cousin, who I also grew up with, she had two kids. And when they were little, I spent a lot of time with them. And I remember my mom finding out that they were at our house, my girlfriend and I's house, and they were spending the weekend with us. She messaged me and then also talked to my cousin and just said, you better be careful because you know what they do. And um, that made me so angry, you know, like we're, um, we're people just like anyone else. Any straight couple can be overly affectionate or do something inappropriate in front of a child. Why is that? Oh, two women shouldn't have two kids around them because, you know, the kids are going to be confused. The difficulty with parents not accepting their children is that regardless of the relationship there, they are people who know you the best, the most. You are the closest to them. And I know a lot of people maybe watching this would say, that's not true. I don't even know my dad or I don't even know my mom or I don't care to know because they're hateful or because of this and because of that. But you cannot get away from that primal feeling of their blood flows through our veins. What you realize through therapy and through talking to yourself and talking to your friends is that you are the only person that can make you happy. My mom's the only person that can make her happy. There was nothing that I was ever going to do to make her feel satisfied. And I had to get there, you know. And as, as strong as I felt in who I was and as proud as I was to be dating the person that I was dating, regardless of the relationship, I still carried... It, both things existed. I was really proud... And I was also really hurt that my mom to this day is not okay with me. 
kids pick up on love and care. And, you know, my girlfriend and I would maybe, you know, hold hands or do something that's a little bit of affection, you know, hug. My cousin's kids, they would see that, and so they would go back home and ask mom, like, well, I see you and dad, and now I see, you know, Marina and her girlfriend, and what does this mean? And my cousin would just say, love comes in between all people. When she invites me over and, and she's like, you know, other people are going to be here, you know, she'll tell me who's there. And I will say, do they know that I'm coming with my girlfriend? And she's like, I don't care. They're coming with their boyfriend or their husband or their kids. Like, how is this any different? I'm like, you're right. Like, I have to remind myself, like, you're right. And because I think we're conditioned to, you know, prepare people. Like, be careful. And partially it's because we don't want to be judged. I don't want to walk into a situation where I'm judged anymore. And, and also, I don't want to make other people uncomfortable, which, why? Like, why do we do that? My niece, she's in college now, and she asked her mom, like, oh, where is, you know, my ex-girlfriend, essentially? And her mom told her that we separated and we weren't together anymore. And she said, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet Marina's new girlfriend. When my cousin told me that, I just, I remember her being this tiny little baby coming into this world. And I was essentially coming out, even though it wasn't like super public, but I was inside of me, I was coming out and coming into myself. And I remember thinking, will she be okay with that? You know, she was just born and here she is at 19 because she grew up around me and me being open and her mom and her dad being so open to me and my girlfriend. It's, we're just two people that were in a relationship. My younger cousin that I grew up with, um, her son um, is my godson. So that was an honor. When that question is asked of you, will you be my child's godmother? It's a godmother. You know, it's, if something were to happen to me, I want you to raise my child. And for, I know this makes me cry, but for someone to, um, it's such a big deal. I think as gay women and gay men, the world that is against us looks at us like they shouldn't be around children, you know? And for someone to say, I want you to raise my child, that is huge. I imagine my partner as a breakable piece of glass and I'm holding them in my, in my hands at all times. So any move can shatter them. And, and that's how I look at relationships. So I'm careful in the way that I, you know, talk to my partner or I show a lot of love and affection. When I met my first girlfriend and we would go out in public, my my normal state of being, I'm very affectionate in a relationship, so my normal state of being is to hold someone's hand. Um, not overly affectionate, but not making out in public, but you hold someone's hand or, you know, let's say you sit down at a table and you kind of put your hand on their leg or you hug them or you just like want to give them a kiss on the cheek. And I continued doing that. So my first girlfriend, I remember the first time I did it, she yanked her hand and she was like, what are you doing? We're in Marietta. And I'm like, what do you mean? We're together. I love you. Of course I want to hold your hand. And she's like, you're crazy. We don't do that. And then I met my second girlfriend who I was with for a very long time. And she, interestingly enough, she had been out for a very long time. So she knew she was gay since she was a kid. Um, and she's dated many women. But she was very uncomfortable with showing affection in public because she was so worried about people judging her for that. And I have thought, you know, many people have asked me, why have you always been okay with like holding your partner's hand no matter where you are? And I have thought about the fact that I have a privilege and I present straight and that the people who would judge me maybe see me holding my girlfriend's hand and be like, she doesn't look gay or, you know, well, she's pretty. It's okay. 
um, where they would judge someone who presents more gay in a harsher way because they look so different from them, right? Like they're relating to me. At the time when I was coming out, I was definitely something kind of new and not a lot of women who looked like me were saying that they were gay or were saying that they were interested in other women. Um, now, when I go out, there are women who look straight, I guess, I hate that term, everywhere. I don't feel the need to label myself or not label myself, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm just happy to be, I just want to be happy. I think, I think maybe that's, that's the best answer for me. And it doesn't matter what somebody wants to call me or what label I want to put on myself. This is the person that makes me happy. I want everyone to just be who they are. And the more you are who you are, the more accepted you will be. But more importantly, the more accepted that next generation is going to be. And it's going to make it so much easier for that little girl, that little boy at seven years old when they realize that, oh, I have a crush on this boy. I have a crush on this girl. It's going to be make it that much easier for them to just say that out loud. Come home and tell the parents and not be normal. Whatever you look like, however you present, come out, be yourself, hold your partner's hand, talk in that company gathering about your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your partner of the same sex. And that is what's gonna make it normal. I think in general, whatever you're dealing with, the older you get, the easier it becomes if you do the work. If you're, you know, you go to therapy, you have conversations with people, you really sit down and talk to yourself about these things and how do I really feel? But not just that, how do I want to feel? How do I want to be moving forward? Where do I want the world to see and what do I want to see in the mirror? That to me is what moves you from seeing yourself with their eyes, the people who don't approve and don't like and seeing yourself through your own eyes of love and acceptance and care. I mean, I think the most important thing just hum for all humans is to be kind to each other. But you can't get there unless you're kind to yourself.